Hello, what is up everybody? It's the Silver Spartan back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about um, Junk Silver again. So I recently did a video on this where I talked about which one I believed is best. And I've kind of changed my opinions since then. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I've more or less recently been starting to get into these dollar coins. I have had some for a while, but they're really starting to grow on me. Um, especially the 21 Morgans. I did just recently pick up some Peace Dollars. And I do have um, other date Morgans. But for some reason, I just absolutely love the 1921 Morgan dollars. And today in this video, I'm going to be getting into why I believe these are a great, great choice and possibly better than other forms of junk silver. Um, I'm also going to say the pros that regular junk silver has, as in the advantages um, that quarters, dimes, and halves have over these. Um, and there are some, but overall, I think I'm going to start focusing more or less um, on growing the amount of Morgan dollars that I have. So, getting right into it, um, upsides for the junk, regular junk silver, whether it be half dollars, quarters, or dimes. I only have three dollars in dimes in my safe right now. I actually traded them away recently um, during a trade where I got uh, some more quarters and stuff. But I do love dimes. Um, right now, this is all that I have. I got to get some more. Um, but upsides of dimes, especially along with quarters and somewhat half dollars, is it's a way to get fractional silver for a low, low price. Um, normally, if you go on like Atmex, Jam Boy, and you look up one tenth ounce silver rounds and stuff, you're going to be paying an insanely high premium over spot. And even though when you see it, it's only like, let's say it said one tenth ounce, so the spot price on it's like a dollar sixty, and let's say you pay like two fifty or three dollars on it. That means you're paying $25, $30 silver is what you're basically paying for. And even though this isn't fine 999 bullion, I do believe it's a, just an absolutely amazing way to get fractional silver for just around spot price, maybe a little bit over. On um, the same can be said for quarters and a slightly larger size and also half dollars. That's one of the situations where um, junk silver has Morgan dollars beat because these are... Um, not as fractional when you look at one, especially price wise, they are just about the same as a one ounce silver coin. They're big, large, and they do carry a larger amount of silver per dollar face than these. Um, and I also got into another thing right there. These are low affordable ways to get to uh, silver. The spot price compared to the premium that you pay is normally much lower than that you'll pay for Morgan dollars. Um, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I believe it's in the realm of a little a little bit over $12 I believe at $16 $17 silver is the actual melt value of these but you're gonna be paying that 17 ish dollars 18 ish um, some people depending on where you buy up to $21 for these so you are paying a big premium over the actual silver melt might melt price compared to um, regular junk silver where you're just paying a teeny teeny bit over um, where one of these for $1 face compared to $1 face in these could be as much as $9 difference for just a dollar face value. And that's almost enough to buy another one of these. For example, let's say you buy two of these at $21 each and you pay $42. At that price, you can get at least $3 face value of junk silver. So you could get at least three where you're, as you're only getting $2 face value with these. Um, so there are definitely upsides for these, but the reason why I really like these uh, Morgan dollars now compared to regular junk silver is I like the feel of having something where it's almost like a one ounce round. It's got that pretty much um, the same value. Um, it's got a little bit less silver content, but I like it because it is only 90% silver, so it has durability. It was meant for circulation. It can be knocked around as opposed to fine silver where sure it's like, you don't need to be super careful with it, but it's not nearly as strong as these 90% coins. These are great for many situations, especially investments, I believe, because as these premiums are high, I do believe they will continue to grow into the future, especially as these coins get older and older. And if you're stacking for the long term, I do believe it's a great option. Um, another nice benefit, um, like I said, with the investment standpoint is... I find it a lot easier to do tallies, totals, especially when it comes to selling. If you don't have your coins organized, and I know that a lot of you do, 
Um, but for those who don't, if you just have bags of it, it takes a lot longer to organize out. Just get an inventory as it does with these. It's pretty simple. You just count them up and they're pretty large, easy to handle. Um, so overall, just checking back in, Junk Silver has the fractional silver um, bonus and it also has the lower cost bonus over spot price. These on the other hand, are the downside is the premium, but the upside is, is that premium could continue to grow. So there's a potential for a higher investment in the long term. And another premium is, is it has that feel of a one ounce coin. It's got that similar price and it has that durability that all those these have, they don't match a one ounce coin in my opinion, like these do. Anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you prefer regular junk silver or do you prefer Morgan dollars? I do understand that they're all 90%, but just let me know. Do you like this or do you tend to stick more towards these or even go into as far as do you like halves best? Do you like dollars best? Do you like quarters best or do you like dimes best? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Peace out.